So, do you want to create these kind of stunning animations in the NPR style? You're in the right place. So, let's get started. This is the model which I created. Well, I totally created from scratch, so don't think I use any kind of, any kind of, any kind of, you know, outsources stuff. Because I was just creating a model from that one. Okay, so yeah, you can see this one. It's totally comic style. If I go in the camera view, you can see. Oh my gosh! And let me on. The, yeah, it's on. You can see it's looking crazy, right? And even there is shadows effect and there is also fake shadows effect like if I go down You can see there is fake shadows effect Like that one I can even control the shadows like the map range you can see Or oh, that one like this To the fake the fake shadows if the sunlight don't fill the all the details yeah you can see this one the details are looking really nice okay come to the point and uh, the how did i created the system actually i'm using a base texture you can see this one uh, this is a normal image a normal image like the metal texture okay uh, on a whole model whole model i'm using it on a whole model and I'm just multiplying this the salt lighting and I just using also the noise texture the color ramp this is the system which I use for my stuff this is the noise node and this is the color ramp I'm using the constant and these are the values you can see and yeah I'm just connecting with the mix color and just to mix to soft light and put the factor to the one and just, you know, just duplicate that one and just place it also there and just connect this like this it's also a nice texture anyways and again add a no soft lighting you know a mix rgb and put it change it to soft lighting and put the image to a and this combo to the b then your this combo is ready now and then add for the you know for let me just show you for this you know balls effect to order to create the comic style like this one you can see uh, it's a different you can see this one it's like so how i created this one right you're thinking about it for a long time and i don't tell you but today it's time to tell you right i'm using a water eye with the smooth f1 and educate you can see the details well for some reason if it's not work for you let me just show you the randomly like if i add a q increase it like that one i'm showing you in the real time okay so add a war on i because this is the frustrated option problem i face it quite a bit sometimes so i don't want that you face also and if i just connect this one to this you see just one like that and just make it the shade smooth and put the smooth to this and render like this and this and if you just like the whoa just this to edge no 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 okay control t Roughness, no, smoothness. There we go. Well, now the same problem I told you. Let me see how I did there. Okay, okay, okay. Now the same problem maybe happen with you, but if you just put the distance. Now I think it's well. Yeah, okay, it's working. So what you need to do? don't use the color you can see this it's not work in the color i don't know why it's use distance i'm not a math guy okay i'm really bad in math so you can see now i get the the comic effect if i just increase it it's looking pretty nice anyways and i can change the color 
Well, it's not NPR style, but I'm just trying to explain how it's work and it's still looking really nice. So yeah, you can do this in that way. So that's how I created the comic effect. And uh, for and I just connected with this combo, the image and the uh, you know the noise texture. What this noise texture actually does? Uh, let me explain by going there. Actually, it just makes the noise texture with the other. And when we just connect this one like this, let me explain it in that way. Okay, so what is this? You can see uh, the effect here. Let me just increase it, low, low this. Oh, wait, should I do this? Okay, mm, where I can go? Yeah, you can see there is some kind of dirt effect. Oh, where I can just explain this. Okay, yeah, yeah, there we go. You can see this, it's nice effect, which is doing this whole shit. So, to order to create a draw look, it's just looking tainted. Uh, we using these two noise textures, the combo, put into the B, A, A, N, and we are just dragging this one to the A one, the softer, and like this. And this is the comic effect, which we created like this one. Okay, and make it linear, so the transaction should be like this one. Okay, and put it at the factory to the one you can see uh, it just like this and also the color ramp to order to control the variations like this one you can see I can make it well detailed or not detailed if I just zoom out it's detailed but if I just drag it it's not detailed all the details come like this goes like that okay this one is done now and now we come down there is this guy creating this effect right looking cool you can see it's a shadow effect well you're thinking oh my gosh why your screen looks different for example if i just zoom in <laughs> it's looking like this oh it's cool so why i did this actually i'm using a compositing so yes yeah, looking cool literally I means if i just disable this can't see the difference okay i will t i will teach you in later video not in this video okay i want views oh yeah so yeah you can see this effect i can use fake shadows i teach this the way how to create this the same way in my old tutorials but i'm explaining it again because it, it was an ai voice oh i hate that one it's take a lot of time to just create the video and I don't get even a secret response. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is the setup which I use. The geometry nodes, normal to vector transformation, don't need to do anything else, just connect to the normal and just do to the value just like this, change the values and the color ramp and just put it to the, put it to the, you know, just drag it to the end and just drag it like this like this I mean this is the setup just to forget about this these nodes okay these nodes don't you don't need to add them anyways uh, let me explain you why if I just go there if I just e simply just put it there and let me just see okay is this sharing the same data Oh, I did the wrong. I did the wrong. Which one is the one? Uh, okay. The mixer. Okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Just need to delete this one. And put it there. And to the color. And uh, it's not fucking working. Did I did something wrong? Don't say I did. Don't say I did. 
Okay, I win. I did. I did. Uh, I should it go in factor? Okay. I will cut this video scene. I will cut. Okay. That way and that way. Okay. See the whole setup like this. These are the connections. Uh, with this one. Which, you know, create the effect with the fake shadows. Like this one. And this factor is for the comic. Let me give them the name. Okay, this one is for comic. This factor is for... Okay, let me delete this. And control J with that one. So if I categorize in the groups, so you will understand the easily the word. Okay, in other cases, you're gonna just confuse, get confused. Control J, and I don't want you to get confused. Okay, yeah. This is the image. You can use whatever image you want. To create an effect. And this is the effect used to create the kind of dirty effect. Like to create a draw look. Okay? You can see the system. And you can create the same way. And you can see. And this is the water night texture. The same which used to create the... You know, details, same again, normal, see this again. You don't need to create exact values, but I'm telling you the system, how I make this. And this one is the, what is, what is this? Uh, I don't even know, I forgot. Let me just check this. Oh, it should be something, just make this. I forgot about that. Mm, okay. So yeah. Now it's time to connect them. As I told you, these two will create you a soften. Then it will be a one. Just take it and take it as a one, and just connect with the soften again, and just bring the this effect to the this one. And there we go. And then in the second one, you can come here. And now we are connecting this one, this one with the, this one, like this. And using multiply and one and do this on. And this one is an A in the downer one and upper one in the B sector. And now it's just take it as a one and it's going there. And we are again connecting this image with this one and this to this one. And it's to add. Do you see the value? And uh, you know, it's, it, the shadows are connecting. The, this one is connected to the A one. And uh, again, it's connecting with this. And uh, that one is connecting with this one. And then, and the, finally, we just connected the principal BSDF. And the same shader to RGB, which plays a big role if you're not in EV. So you will take a, a lot of time. To be honest, it's take a lot of time to just me figure out, okay, this option is only for EV. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So use a color ramp. Then, like this one, use constant to create the colors like I did. You can see I have a lot of colors. Uh, like this one, I can choose the change the color. So yeah, even the the other colors like this. In that way, and the black sh for shadows like this effect means if I just make it brighter, you can see. So it's not the shadows we create fake shadows in NPR, and to order to create a different uh, layer of the shadows. Like on upper, even the shadows are not there. Is no, not there is no sun. See, and if I just go in the world tab, and if I just make the background strength to zero, zero, you can see everything is just black. Okay, yeah, we don't understand that. Okay, 
So yeah, the fake shadows. Even there is no sun, but I can still use, you can see this one. And I can create the shadows. And not only that one, but I can also uh, increase the values or just set it where I just want the variations or without where I know. You can see this one. So it's a pretty handy for your projects. So, and at the end, you just need to darken and to the, the, you know, the sh overlay of the shadows, which I created in the B and this one to A and factor. You can just, if you increase it, it should be like this. And if the five and you just lower that and you will get the, okay, dar darken and just connect to the material output and you will get your response. Well, might much sounds complicated in the first, but it should pretty simple. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. Let me, you can just, uh, you know, stay for a pause for a minute. So you can just take the images, screenshots, like this, that one, that one, that one, and that one, that one. And also, this is, um, okay so yeah that's the way i created this model you can see this the shader is not the model the modeling is different perspective and yeah it's also you can see uh, i just uh, not rig it so yeah i'm so lazy i don't even rig the wires even it's pretty easy to rig even i can just rig in right now like I just go in ahead and just add a hook and select this like this and if I just now move it's just move with the model you don't believe see this and just moving yeah it's pretty simple just uh, you know like this and uh, add press space if you have a space and search for hook to object and you just this and there should be an uh, hook and you can just drag it wherever you want it's, it's not it's just removed right now it's okay so yeah that's how you can do this so thanks for watching this video i hope you like that one and so see you in the next one good luck